Concerns about the coronavirus have people across the country on the hunt for germ-killing products. Stores are selling out of bleach, wipes, and the most prized product, hand sanitizer. And people are taking advantage of the anxiety some people are having about the virus. Last week, a 12-ounce bottle of hand sanitizer was selling on Amazon for 50 bucks rather than the usual $4.50. It is really sad that people are trying to take advantage of others' fear. But hand sanitizer is basically just alcohol, so can you make it on your own? Team 12's William Pitts went to find out, and we want to warn you right off the bat, it can be dangerous if you don't get it right. People searching for sanitizer. That's gold. That's gold. But finding only empty store shelves and getting gouged online. But you can't get it on the market. It's pretty hard to find hand sanitizer anywhere. In fact, on some online sources, this is going for about 60 bucks. So can you make your own? And is it just as good as the store-bought stuff? There are a ton of recipes out there for how you could make your own hand sanitizer. But what it comes down to is one part grain alcohol to two parts aloe gel, and that's for your skin. We're using Everclear, the purest alcohol you can easily find. This one's 151 proof, or 75.5% alcohol. And that's critical because the CDC says hand sanitizer has to be 60% alcohol or higher to work. What we're going to do is use the filth finder to find out how well this hand sanitizer, this home-brewed hand sanitizer, actually does. Now remember, the filth finder works by counting the number of living things. If something's disinfected, this should read absolutely zero. And yes, we know you're not supposed to use hand sanitizer to disinfect tables, but it should at least bring those numbers down. Yeah, the unsanitized part of this desk comes in at 304. First, we put the store-bought sanitizer on a paper towel. Smear it on the desk. Hand sanitizer is not doing a great job of disinfecting the desk. It brought it down to 125. 30 is dirty, zero would be completely disinfected. But let's see what the other side does. Now we'll do the same thing with our homebrew. All right, the homebrewed stuff, not bad at all. 83. Now granted, we're not chemists here. This could be different concentrations, so generally, it's about the same. But even though it technically works, you still shouldn't do it. If you're off on the portions, experts say you could burn yourself, hurt yourself, or it could just plain not work. Not to mention Everclear is also flammable, so it might even explode. And it's expensive. This was about 30 bucks altogether. Experts say it's easier, cheaper, and just as effective to just wash your hands with soap. William Pitts, 12 News.